Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our historical journey on the history of modern world. Today, I have an extraordinary story to share with you, a tale of bravery, resistance, and the pursuit of freedom against the backdrop of British colonial rule. Get ready to dive into the dramatic events of the Malayan Emergency, a pivotal insurgency that took place from 1948 to 1960. But before we embark on this thrilling journey, here's a little surprise for you, some shocking, lesser known facts about the conflict. Did you know that the Malayan Emergency wasn't actually a real war, but rather an unconventional conflict? While the term emergency may conjure images of traditional warfare, it was a British euphemism to downplay the significance of the insurgency. The Communists, led by the Malayan Communist Party, MCP, waged a fierce guerrilla warfare campaign against British forces and the Malayan government. Now, let's dig deeper into this gripping story. Before we dive into the main events, let's set the stage. In the aftermath of World War II, Malaya, now Malaysia, was under British colonial rule. The country's resources, primarily tin and rubber, were exploited for the benefit of the empire. This economic disparity, along with social inequality and political disenfranchisement, laid the groundwork for the communist insurgency. The Malayan emergency officially began on June 16, 1948 with a deadly attack on three European plantation managers in Sulmai Siput. This act of violence marked the beginning of the MCP's armed struggle against the British colonial administration. Soon after, a state of emergency was declared, granting the authorities significant powers to suppress the insurgency. The MCP's communist guerrillas, known as the Malayan Races Liberation Army, MLA, initiated a relentless campaign of terror against both British forces and the local population. Their tactics included ambushes, bombings, and targeted assassinations. Villagers were caught in the crossfire, often forced to choose between supporting the insurgents or cooperating with the British. As the conflict intensified, the British adopted a hearts and minds strategy to win over the local population. They implemented the Briggs Plan, named after British General Sir Harold Briggs, which aimed to relocate rural villages into heavily guarded settlements known as New Villages. This tactic sought to isolate the insurgents from their support base. The Malayan emergency was far from a swift victory for either side. The British forces faced significant challenges in combating the highly adaptable guerrilla tactics of the MLA. However, in time, the British gained the upper hand by using superior firepower, intelligence networks, and support from Commonwealth allies. Amidst the turmoil of the insurgency, Malaya's path to independence began to take shape. The British realized that granting independence was the only viable solution to end the conflict. In 1957, Malaya became a sovereign nation laying the groundwork for the formation of Malaysia in 1963. The Malayan emergency left a profound impact on the nation and its people. Although the conflict lasted until 1960, the scars of war persisted for much longer. Today, Malaysia commemorates the sacrifices made during the insurgency and cherishes the hard-won independence. And there you have it. The riveting tale of the Malayan emergency, insurgency against British colonial rule. This lesser known chapter of history sheds light on the struggle for freedom, the complexities of colonial rule, and the resilience of a nation. I hope you enjoyed this journey through time. If you found this historical account intriguing, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with your friends. Let us know in the comments which historical event you'd like us to explore next. Until then, stay curious, and remember, history has so much more to reveal. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next adventure.